Hi there, welcome to another video of Geology at Glance. Today we are going to learn about a very mysterious type of topography, yes, cast topography. Cast topography is characterized by various types of caves, sinkholes, underground streams and fissures. It is usually formed in regions of plentiful rainfall where bedrock consists of carbonate rocks such as limestone, gypsum, dolomite, which can be easily dissolved. But how this name is derived? Cast topography refers to subterranean limestone mysterious looking formations like caves, surface sinkholes, and rocky overhanging cliffs as a result of specific natural occurrence. First time this term was applied to area abundant in limestone in Slovenia. This name is derived from Paleo-European word for stone, kara. Here are these pictures showing development of cars landscapes. Rainwater passed through uh, fractures in bedding plains, dissolving carbonate minerals and creating wider cavities and conduities, which continue to grow, widen and result in enlargement faster. Then rocks above cavities collapse, forming desolation holes and sinkholes. Then those sinkholes overlap and eventually fill with surficial debris. Soil develop and vegetation is established. Now we are going to learn about factors affecting karst topography, lithology, structure, hydrogeology, climate, vegetation, pH content of water, and time. Karst and water have a very deep relation. Karst is known as ideal for storing water as an aquifer and provides very large amount of water to people. About 20% of United States is underlain by karst landscapes and 40% of groundwater used for drinking comes from karst aquifers. Now here is a picture showing different types of cars, landforms. Now we are going to discuss features of cars one by one. Let's start from cars caves. Cars caves are usually formed by dissolution of soluble rock material such as limestone. Rainwater will dissolve carbon dioxide acts, uh, acts like a weak acid that dissolves soluble rocks Hollows are created where water dissolve rock while insoluble rock stay intact to form the floors and walls of the cave. Caves at different levels are thus formed. Now we are going to discuss cave deposits. Spallogens. These are formed where bedrock is not uniform in chemical composition. It includes stalcocytes, stagmylomites, and columns. Stalcocytes are formed by deposition of calcium carbonate and other minerals, which is precipitated from mineralized water solution and hanging from the roof of the cave. Same water drops that fall from the tip of the stalcocyte deposit more calcite on the floor, which is known as taglamide. If these formations grow together, then it is known as columns. Here is the picture showing this process. Water sinkhole. Sinkholes are opening which connects the cave with the surface is called sinkhole. Some sinkholes are formed when caves have collapsed known as collapse sinkholes. Others are formed from desolation known as solution sinkholes. Many sinkholes are located at the intersection of joints. New sinkholes are formed because of the lowering of water table due to excessive pumping. Limestone pavement. This car's landform resembles an artificial pavement, hence the name. It is flat in size, exposed limestone surface that is quite common in Ireland and UK. In other parts of the world, this term is alvar is often used. This type of landform is formed by glacial activity. When an advancing glacier scrapes away the overburden from the top of limestone bed, 
it exposes the bare and flame limestone however the exposed limestone is now easily susceptible to corrosive forces and it develops various type of cracks and fissures that create an incised surface resulting in limestone pavement here is a picture showing this process now we are going to discuss fiber it is another cast feature formed by collapse of a part of bedrock. It is basically deep natural sinkhole which usually has a shape similar to inverted funnel. These are common in karst vein regions of Europe. Here is a picture showing its example. Karst spring. A karst spring is a water spring with high discharge. It is located in Kars area where it drains the underground water of the area. These springs usually have a ball or conical shape. These are often present at the end of cave system where an underground river reaches the surface of the earth. Here is another picture showing many of Kars features for your understanding. Now we are going to learn about sinking river. Sinking river is a simply flowing water course that disappears or loses water as it flows downstream. The water usually drains into a ground where it increases the ground water level since the bottom of the river is at the higher level than the water table. Losing streams are common in two types of landscape, arid areas and karst areas. In karst areas, sinking river results when a river disappears through karst landscape, it flows from underground cave system where it becomes a subterranean river. It might eventually resurface in the form of karst spring. Here this picture is showing a sinking river. Now we are going to learn about another karst feature, Kalank. It is a type of karst landform found along the Mediterranean coast. It is a narrow and steep walled valley that is formed from either collapse of a roof of a cave or by fluvial erosion. Topsoil is usually non-existent in this type of cast features, but a wide variety of plants grow here. Here is a picture showing this cast feature. Now we are going to learn about her look. It is a cast feature that is unique to Ireland only. It is a disappearing lag found in limestone area. The rain that falls on the limestone bed seeps underground through openings in the bedrock. These openings can range in size from small fissures to massive caves. The underground water finally surfaces at distant springs. However, this groundwater is saturated and water can no longer seep. Rainwater collects on the surface to form turlocks. Again, during the dry, water seeps in as groundwater level decreases. Turlocks are described as disappearing lakes. Skull Skull is a variety of karst landform ranging from hollows to shallow pits. Such features can be observed in Forest of Dian in England. It provides important habitats for wildlife. Here is picture showing this cast feature. Here is another feature, Mokote. It is described as an isolated hill made of limestone, dolomite, and marble. These hills exist as rounded landform with steep sides. Here is a picture of it. Abim. It is a vertical shaft in karst terrain. The landform is usually extremely deep and leads to a massive network of subterranean passages. It has diameter of 1 to 10 meters and can be deep as 50 meters. These landforms are famous in England and US. Here is a picture of it. Cenote. When a limestone bedrock collapses to form a natural bed that exposes groundwater, the resulting landform is called cenote. 
in ancient times mayan people used to to do surf, uh, sacrificial offerings here it is also denoted by other stones like st paul dolin shallow uh, shallow hole etc here is a picture of a Bonaire is also known as karst feature. It is natural opening in karst landscape. But there is a difference between Bonaire and Cenote. It acts like a entry of surface water to the ground water. Bonaire are located where lakes and streams disappear underground. Here is a picture showing this feature. Karst Fenstro is also an interesting feature of Karst area. It is basically a spring that emerges from underground. It discharges its water and then abruptly disappears underground through a nearby sinkhole. It is also known as Karst Window. Now we are going to discuss where these Karsts can be found. Karst is not specific to certain geographic area on Earth. were scattered throughout in over 60 countries of the world China Ireland Vietnam showing these features very abundantly karst topographical features are located in united states which fingers taclamide created from calcium carbonate is also famous karst feature Here is a picture of it. This is the end of today's lecture. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and subscribe.